and it gets more interesting. Have a look at this headline. The King of Jordan, Abdullah II, has also jumped into this debate. He has warned that the he has warned the incoming government against crossing any red lines, primarily on Jerusalem's holy sites. Remember, Jerusalem borders the state of Israel and the West Bank, and the King of Jordan says that this alleged expansion plan should not do any harm to Jerusalem's holy sites. Let me tell you his reasons behind this. First, let me read out the statement that he made. I'm quoting. If people want to get into a conflict with us, we are quite prepared. I always like to believe that let's look at the glass half full, but we have certain red lines. And if people want to push those red lines, then we will deal with that. Next question. Why is the King of Jordan so concerned? What does he have to do with all of this? To start with, he is a member of the Hashemite dynasty, a dynasty considered pious by Muslims. And why is that? Because its members are apparently direct descendants of Prophet Muhammad. Secondly, this dynasty has been the custodian of Jerusalem's holy sites since 1924. And so it sees itself as the guardian of the religious rights of Muslims. In fact, until 1967, Jerusalem's old city was controlled by Jordan after Israel took over the city post the Six-Day War. It allowed the Jordanian Waqf to maintain its authority. So just to put this simply, any changes in Jerusalem or to the status of its religious sites is liable to spark protests from Jordan. And why just Jordan for that matter? It will be safe to say that the wider Muslim world could also rise in protest. You see, the Temple Mount, which houses the Al-Aqsa Mosque, is the third holiest site in Islam. Because on top of the, on top of the Temple Mount sits the Dome of the Rock. This is where Muslims say Prophet Muhammad ascended to the heavens. But the thing is, even Jews consider Jerusalem holy. In Hebrew, they call it Yerushalayim. They say Temple Mounts, where two biblical Jewish temples stood thousands of years ago. The western wall within Temple Mount is said to be the last remnant of those temples. And today, it is considered to be the holiest site in Judaism. When Jews pray, they face the western wall in Jerusalem, just like Muslims face the Kaaba in Mecca. For both religions, essentially, for both Israelis and Palestinians, for both Jewish people and the Islamic world, Jerusalem holds a sacred and important place. So if the incoming Netanyahu government embarks on this planned mission, it could ruffle a lot of feathers in West Asia. It could also affect the Abraham Accords, the peace treaties that were signed between Israel and a host of other countries. Will Netanyahu's planned expansion of settlements in the West Bank send these accords for a toss? Only time will tell.